Do not go in there. There's a mouse in the bathroom, and that is not a metaphor for anything else. Well, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Oh, I'm not getting it. Okay, so let's just agree. The bathroom is now dead to us. So, number one's in the laundry room sink. Number two's in the coffee shop bathroom. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, I'm good. There's a mouse in my room. The couch is my bed now. Do you guys want a coffee? I need to go pee, and I'm doing a lot of whites. It crawled on my face. <laughs> There's a mouse under the sink. I just feel like ordering pizza anyway. See? It moved. It is a mouse. I'll get the real estate guy. We can start looking for a new apartment. No, guys, guys, let's just do what we always do. I'm gonna need a pizza and a date with your hot friend. Mandy? I said hot, not adorable. Tara. No way. Cindy. Deal. <laughs> now I have to summon my spirit animal, the domesticated house cat. Kara's done. I'll be next door awaiting my pizza. Wow. He's good. Yeah. Hey, Cindy, it's Maggie. Great, great. Listen, got some good news and some bad news. Um. Hey, man, can I have your leftover Chinese food? Today's a meal day. What Chinese? You know, the Chinese food beside the empty chocolate milk carton and the Tupperware full of blue stuff. Oh, I thought that was yours. No, nah, if it was mine, I would have eaten it already. Ying Wong Takeout. Hmm. Never heard of it. Maybe it came with the apartment. Ah! I'm going in. Mark's eating from the archaeological dig in our fridge. Is food supposed to make that sound when you heat it up? You know, I haven't started cooking it yet. Oh, Mark, I can't let you eat that. Great, well, maybe you could spot me some money for food? Better make it nine minutes. Microwave full power the whole time, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hey, I need your share of the electric bill. Okay, all right, you're Jack. When are you going to close your kid's starter account? OK, first of all, it's a big girl bank account. Secondly, there are no fees. Why do you care? This is embarrassing, cashing a check that has princesses, ponies, and teddy bear wizards on it. You know, I think it's really cute. Hey, write me one. Oh, I can't. It says right here, don't lend money to leprechauns. They're always a little short. Come on, guys. I got five bucks to my name, and that money has to go to either groceries or laundry. Don't make me choose between food and pants. Please Definitely pants. pants. OK, pants it is. This will take care of the food. Hey, that smells, like, really smells. Hmm? Uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna need the full nine minutes. I found the cause of the fire. Any idea who owns these clothes? <coughs> no. <coughs> no idea whose clothes those are. Mine are over here. This one's mine, right here. Really irresponsible, though, right? Whoever did that. You're, uh, you're showing. I don't judge your outfit. Please don't judge mine. Standard. Ah, the grating cheers of your online bank. Yeah, I'm just gonna pay off my credit card, and then there's this cool game where I color in a caterpillar. Why don't we open a joint bank account? That way I don't have to feel like a pervert every single time I cash one of your princess checks. Really? Maggie Bronson, would you do me the honor of opening a joint bank account with me? That's a pretty big step. <laughs> All right, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm saving that seat for a friend. Simon! What happened to you? You look like a dad from a catalog. Well, all my clothes were destroyed in a blameless accident. Oh, guy with a suit like that doesn't have to mooch wings? You should be selling wings in a jacuzzi on a blimp Why? at the Super Bowl right? with Kanye West. There it is. Look, the suit was a graduation gift from my dad, for my cousin. He didn't want it. 
Thanks. Well, this all looks so good. I'm gonna have a glass of water and the mint that comes with the bell, please. Can you believe this is the only bar near the convention? Huh? You're from the Pyramid of Power Conference, right? Um, yeah. No, no, that's exactly where I'm from. Yeah, I just came from that conference, and here I am now in this bar in my 10th best suit, drinking water that I think may have come from a tap. Ugh. I'm Taylor. Let me just grab a drink. Can I have a Okay, what is happening? Girls like that don't approach guys like us unless they want to discuss an hourly rate. I think it's the suit. Do you have another suit? No. Maybe a bigger one? No. no. Hi, I'm Mark. Business is my business. Hey, this may seem a little forward, but I'm going to embrace what we learned today. Perceive, proceed, pounce. I saw you, I came over, and now I'm going to ask you to have dinner with me. Ah, uh, <clears throat> let me just perceive my schedule with my assistant Simone here, and then we can proceed to the pouncing. Oh, oh, um, <clears throat> uh, it says here that you have a meeting at five with the president of all the banks. Well, I can't cancel that. And then you're buying those new yachts. Place all my old yachts. And then you're scheduled here to stop by a bank machine to make your weekly withdrawal $60,000 cash. Then you have a meeting with those sheiks from Switzerland. So, no can do. What? I think the last one was canceled. Now, that's not what I have here. Yeah, it says Mr. Tamahoto is pretty upset he wasn't invited, and he's threatening to close the whole factory. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and cancel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, I think the last... I'm not gonna be happy about that. Well, I'm not gonna be happy if we don't cancel it. Okay. Mm. Wow. Okay, it's all clear. Here's my card. Call me. Oh, I will. <laughs> you can't afford to take a girl like that out. She's out of your league. I have a great plan. I'm just gonna borrow 50 bucks off my assistant, Simone. Well, my money's tied up in these wings. It's a bad investment. Oh, I should have been looking at the wings. I see what you're doing there because you're eating my wing. You ready to do this? I think so. Welcome to Blue City Bank. Tell us what you'd like to do today. Speak do to an account. agent. Did you say no? Peking Asians count. No. I'll just press zero. You pressed zero zero. Maggie, I'll press zero. Okay. Hello, Blue City Bank. What can I do for you today? Hi, we'd like to open a new joint account under Maggie Bronson and Jason Howell. Yeah, we're taking our relationship to the next level. That's fine. Jason Howell, it seems you have a pre-existing account with Ms. Catherine Wright. What? You can close that. I'm afraid I can't, sir. It seems that you are in overdraft. The last withdrawal was four years ago for a couple's massage. Heck, we don't need to hear about that. You can just close that account. Jason? I'll need Ms. Wright's authorization for that. You shared an account with your ex? You know what? We were young and dumb. We got caught up in the excitement of shared financial responsibility. Everything okay? Yeah, we're great. You didn't even live with her. Do you just join accounts with every woman that you date? You know what? You can probably hang up now. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. How much cheddar you got there? $51. That's a dollar more than I budgeted for, so now I can tip. Where'd you get all that money? Oh. Let me tell you. And from all that, I got enough change to take a bus to the pawn shop where I sold our microwave. Yeah, don't tell Jason and Maggie. This one's actually from an IKEA display. Oh, so it's not 5.30? No. You think 50 bucks is enough for Taylor? She seems like the kind of girl who eats those Japanese cows that are trained to be delicious. Simon, I have worked out a system. I'm gonna meet her at the bar, but only stay long enough for her to order one premium cocktail. I think she's too smart to think that drinks are dinner. That's why I'm taking her to Classy Sushi. Ooh, in the good mall. Any combination of items on that menu falls within my budget. If she orders a roll, a maki, and a nigiri, I am golden. What if she gets the ahi tuna? She can order the ahi tuna. It's all too risky. Damn it, the tuna! It's okay. It's okay. You know what? I'll just load up on my trusty yim wong here. That way, I don't have to eat at all. I really shouldn't have left this in the sun. What if she gets the shark eel? For the millionth time, that's not a real thing. Still no, huh? Uh-uh. Mm. She signs this paper, and the account's canceled. I still can't believe you had a joint account with someone else and didn't tell me. Hey, Maggie, I know meeting my ex is weird, but don't get jealous. Just try to make the best of it. his dancing face? Did he used to do this? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> great. If you could just sign this paper here for me. Thank you. You are still the nicest man I've ever broken up with. Why did you guys break up anyway? Um, uh, commitment issues. 
I don't know how you did it, but I could not get him to move in with me. Okay, this was fun. Let's go, Maggie. The only way he would do it is if one of his buddies moved in with us. He just wanted a backup plan in case the relationship fell apart. Okay, Kathy, thanks. Great. I mean, if you're gonna commit, commit. Otherwise, you're just another roommate. I'm gonna go. Bye, guys. Really dodge that bullet, huh? Yeah, sure. Roomie. Martini, please. And I'll have two fingers of water. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, there's Blake Golf. Blake. Blake. Hi. Hi. I caught your talk today on first impressions. Oh. Really enjoyed when you spoke about eyebrows being the new handshake. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I do remember you there. But I forget. Count a man's eyebrow movements in one minute. Multiply that by 10,000, and you know exactly how much that man makes in one year. Oh. <laughs> this is my friend, Mark. Hey! Blake Golf, Blake Golf Consulting. Mark of the Mark Consulting Tin Firm. Mark, you never mentioned what you do. Yeah, what do you do, Mick? Mark, I, uh, you know, I dabble in this, I dabble in that. Of course, there's always Dubai, am I right? Ha! <laughs> yeah, of course, Dubai, am I right? Mostly it's government benefits reception. I'm sorry? Government. Government contract? Consulting. Boom. Am I right? Hey, that's a juicy, juicy pie there, sir. Well, that is enough shop talk, you two. Mark is taking me to Classy Sushi. Where you gotta go is this hot new caviar bar. Oh, they have the best champagne selection in the city. Bar none. And I just got you a table. Boom. <laughs> wow, I really wish you hadn't done that, Blake. No, no, no. No problem. I scratch your back, you smooch a little of that juicy pie in mine. Hmm? Ow. Okay. Here's your bill. Thank you. I have to warn you, I do get a little bit crazy on champagne. Well, this place is close enough to run to. <laughs> yeah, I'm a champagne. Nine bucks. What do we break a plate? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> problem, though? Not a problem? Some suspect it came from here. Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. And yet today, bread is under What are you fire. watching? The meaning of loaf. Documentary about bread. Where'd you go? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I had to tell my roommate what I was doing. So, the bar? Yeah. And you know what? My friends think you made a big mistake by bringing Mark in as a buffer for our relationship. But don't worry. I still like you. Oh. Oh. I always get nervous when you hang out with your friends. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Controversial. Oh, what are you what are you doing? Oh, well, just in case this whole sex thing doesn't work out, I've got a backup plan. <sighs> okay, you know what? That is not fair. And I would storm off right now, but I I can't stand. I just don't know how committed you are. I mean, you still have a box under a bed that I'm not allowed to go in. Maggie, that is a time capsule. I can't open it until I'm 40. Am I gonna be around for that? Or are you gonna be on to joint bank account number five by then? I'm gonna finish this documentary at the bar. Okay, I'm gonna have a water. Whoa, wait, why, why is water $15? Because that is suspiciously cheap. They're probably watering it down. Mmm, fresh beef tongue, a braised Madeira sauce with truffles. I'll have that, please. Not me, no, no, I don't like to taste anything that could taste me back. So I'm gonna have the, the, ooh, this looks good. Yeah, the side salad. Mm-hmm. Sounds, <laughs> Oh, Simone, my executive assistant, what are you doing here? Did the Sheik's revolt again? My business pager went off. I have a very important document for you. I see you're still wearing your executive apron. Taylor! Glad to see you haven't changed. Your clothes, I mean. <laughs> mm, yeah. What do you want? A little boardroom laugh for you. Wow. Guess I'll just sit right over here. No, no, no. you won't. Okay. No, not at all. Okay, I feel just excuse me for one second. I need to talk to my assistant. Just don't order any champagne. Because I'm I'm very particular. Okay. It's just business. Come on, just have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, I got here as fast as I could. I believe this is what you need, my good man. This is a group on. Yeah, for half off. Simon, you are a lifesaver. Buddy, I'm in your debt. All you owe me is the high five that you left me hanging with last week. Now get out of here. Very good, sir. Well, Maggie doesn't think I'm committed because I still want to live with Mark. I was in a relationship with a woman who wasn't fully committed once. 
They let her out on the weekends. They had to break up, though. She wouldn't share her meds. You know, I always say, there's no captain on a relationship. Okay, thanks, Gary, but I'm, I'm fully committed to Maggie. Look, you're making too big a deal out of it. Keep it simple. Talk to her in terms that she'll understand, see? Maggie, we're not getting the puck to the net, but we don't need to drop the gloves and get pummeled. We're not getting the bounces, so what? Let's go out there and give 110%. So this is the ugly face of not committing. So what? Let's go out there and give 110%. I think I'm going to head back. I'm sorry you had to send your side salad back. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think the lettuce had turned. I mean, I tried to soldier through, but by the last bite, I knew I had to send it back. Maybe we should just skip the champagne and get out of here. I would love nothing more. Hey! Was I right or was I right about this place? <laughs> huh? So here's what happens to me. Sitting back there, order the baby seal for dinner. Anyway, a bunch of Greenpeace protesters show up, throw paint on my date. She has to duck out early. Kind of puts a suck and suck on, doesn't it? Oh, you're alone. You have to come join us, right? Oh, thank you. I don't mind if I do. Yeah. My taxes are probably paying for this anyway, right, Mr. Government Contract? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Blake? Actually, I have a really early conference call tomorrow at 8 a.m. with Tokyo, so I don't that know. would be 10 p.m. their time. Yeah, 10 p.m., 10 p.m., because we're buying a night school. Let's have some champagne, then. Waiter, a bottle of Maison Tabernac. Three glasses. No. No! Uh, I... No, because I only, uh... I actually once had a problem with the drink. I am sorry. Yeah. Waiter. Sorry. Waiter, make that two glasses. Oh, sorry. It's my ringtone. Is it hot in here? <laughs> no. Good you're here, because I got something for you. I found this little guy. You brought a cat home. So you brought home another roommate. No, no, no. He's not just a cat. He's a commitment, because we'll have him for 15, maybe seven good years. He is pretty cute. Yeah? You should bring him back to the lady in 1B. This is her cat. I'll probably explain why he was hanging out by her door. Here you go, Jaggy. There you go. I'm pretty sure stealing livestock is a federal offense. But I appreciate that you stole a cat for me and that you think we'll be together long enough for it to die. Lots of cats are going to die while we're together. <laughs> and many will be born. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to use the ladies' room. When I get back, we can maybe go get some dessert. Really? You're not done eating yet? You're talking about sex, and I knew that. Good. Good. Your bill. Uh. <laughs> Let me get that. No, 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 no. I mean, you only had the $115 bottle of champagne. Oh, I insist, I insist. Ah, my table, my rules, Blake. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? No, you know, I would really hate to insult you, though. That's the problem. No, 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 not at all. You actually, you just showed me you were the bigger man. No. Right? No. Okay. <gasps> no. So, are we all paid up? Um, yes, yes. I just need to talk to... Talk to the waiter for a second to give him a little extra money for the kitchen staff. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, um, I'm just gonna level with you. I cannot afford this at all. I, like, wow. I'm just gonna put it out there. Please, if you let me leave with this woman, I will write this place the best Yelp reviews ever, ever. You can have my suit. Oh, my suit? You got it, buddy. Here, here, here. I'll give you my sock as deposit. Sir, yeah. your bill's already been taken care of by a real man. <sighs> my good man, this is for you. Don't wear that all in one place. Oh, oh. Must be the salad. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay. Mm. I know this place must seem tiny to a man like you, but I like boutique hotels. But I'm guessing you're probably used to like castles in the south of France or something. Oh, all we need is a bed. Ah, uh, you know, I, uh, can I use your bathroom? Okay, it's right over there. Okay. Ah, oh, 
Do you have another bathroom? More than two feet away? No. no I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna be real quick here. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to use your hair dryer because my hair got wet. Mark, are you? Wow. Your hair dryer sounds really funny. I think there's a sewage leak in here. Oh. No. 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 You don't. Damn it. Are you okay? Okay. Mark, are you? Are you? Mark. Hmm? So where were we? I think you probably should just go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I think that's for the best. Okay. Good talk. Okay, Maggie. Have you decided to close your big girl bank account? Actually, I'd like to add my boyfriend to the account. I don't think I've ever done a joint kitty account before. So just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to do this? No service charges, no transfer fees. It's everything I've ever wanted. And it's with you. And Mark's not involved. All righty. you. Here are your complimentary stickers. This is the best part. I'm a big kid today. I've got common sense. My money isn't spent. Who do I thank? The bank. A and K. N K. Everybody. K. Thank the everybody. Bank. <laughs> Maggie's not going to crash Guy's Night. She's hanging out with her old buddy, Quinn. Ooh. He's not interested in her in that way. <laughs> Next Monday. Who wants to get in your pants and not in a traveling sisterhood way? Whoa. Jason, you guys were right. Quinn is showing signs of interest. What? Let's roll. Yes. You're the ones causing trouble. Why are you going to call a younger security guard? <laughs> Time to take out the trash. Let the go, Golden Girl. Satisfaction. All new. Next Monday at 8, 7 central on CTV. Followed by Anger Management.